good morning. Headed to my best friend crib. Uh, she got back in town last night, and of course, they uh, lost her luggage. It was still in Dallas, and she didn't have made it home, but it finally got here this morning. So, we're about to go get it right quick. And honestly, I'm chilling today. Nigga ain't never record at the gas station before. I am, it feels so weird recording in public like for real for real. So weird. Uh, yes. That's the status. I'm trying to be on it. I want niggas to know me when I walk in. <laughs> How you doing? I want to get a large fry and a 12 piece. Well, he said a large fry. You want a small fry? Um, yeah, small. It's cool. Okay, um, a small fry and a large fry. I don't know. Everything looks so good right now. Excuse me. And I'm going to get a, a two-piece though. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, Whoa. Look at that. Uh, Thank you. Oh, no. 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 Oh, I mean, the glasses messed up. Why, fat? You should have been on the menu. Gang signs. Gang signs. This is the only gang I know. Peace Street. <laughs> School of young ones. He's to me. That's typically what he do. Gang signs. Because they don't want what. So, just to educate you, uh, she may have given him the game. I'm not sure that he received it. We'll, get, we'll come back with a status update. <laughs> How you feeling today, big dog? I feel good. You know what's crazy? I didn't get back into church. Ooh. Yeah. Like, you know, like, I had to get into church. You know how there's a certain feeling we be looking to feel when we go to church? But the first time I say, I don't feel like I'm in church, I feel like I'm around people that's free. Baby. It's a different thing going to church and actually being free, and I feel that I'm around people that's free, and so that makes me feel better. Any day spent with you with a good one, so. Y'all haven't had the pleasure to meet me, but you have to know she's telling the truth on that. <laughs> Any day spent with you with a This is a queen right here. This queen right here. I'm just a quarter of a court. Bring up. Go ahead. Oh, oh, oh. Drip track, drip track. One thing about New Orleans people, bro, we don't jokes. We don't jokes from New Orleans. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we don't jokes. 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 Like, how much? How much for y'all eating? One nine nine. One nine nine. Oh damn! I haven't. You could have added on this. I don't know. Right. No worries. Here you go. Here you go. Okay. Here you go. 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 Here I'm at Sonny, just picking me up a little ice cream. I ain't gonna lie, I haven't had ice cream in a minute. Y'all, I went to the music store. I didn't bring my camera inside because I ain't gonna lie, because music is like one of my, it's one of my gifts and I actually do love it. I keep those spaces like very intimate. Like I don't want it to be, oh, she got a camera in here. You know what I'm saying? I keep those spaces very intimate. And I actually chopped it up with some with the new owners of the music store that I actually always go to. I never really got a chance to meet them. I, I knew the older owners because I was in there all the time. And, man, it was just like you felt love going in there. And I think that they're owned by Christians. I believe that they're owned by Christians. But you really felt the love. Like, the lady was talking to me, put me on game about the new guitars they got in. And then, like, once I started playing and she started that I played, oh, she was like... 
come here, sweetie. You know. <laughs> but now the guy in there, um, who was very informal, very like, he put me on something I ain't never heard of before when it comes down to guitars because and so my guitar is just like a small body guitar, meaning that it doesn't pick up that hollowness, that depth, that that bass that we look for when it comes down to acoustic guitar. It's also an electric acoustic guitar. When it's not plugged up, it be doing what I want it to do, but when I plug it up to an amp, the pickup is trash. It is so trash, but the guy actually told me about something called a actual pickup. And basically from my knowledge of his under, from his explaining, it's like two kind of mics you put in the, um, in the inside of the guitar. So that way when, it's, when you're strumming, they're not just picking up what's going through the, the uh through the electric uh thing they're actually picking up the sound of the strings and transporting that through the amp too so you're going to get that that depth that deepness that rich hollow sound that i'm looking for he said it was about 200 dollars. i ain't gonna lie i can't afford that right now but he did say that he'll like let me see what it is like so i'm gonna bring my guitar back tomorrow and just you know because i ain't gonna like i be buying foot pedals trying to get what i'm after foot pedals not even a answer to what i'm looking for so it felt good to be able to have them put me on something that i have been searching for for the longest wasting money for the longest not saying wasting money like that but when you when you're buying stuff that ain't what you trying to fix for what you ain't trying to fix you just spending money, you know what I'm saying? But that was on my end too because I didn't have the knowledge. I thought I knew, but I really didn't. If you ever in a Slidell area, the name is Christian Music on Goals, right next to Hobby Lobby. They cool people, cool people. The selection in there is so intimate. It's so y'all know I like small. I don't like I like Guitar Center, but I love it when we can have these local music stores who also sell instruments, who also give lessons, who also have accessories. Like I love to support them just as much as Guitar Center. But Guitar Center and stuff like that, there's that's not intimate places. Those are wholesalers. They're a wholesaler. So they're pushing out so much product product every day. But when you have those local music stores who you can actually build relationships with that they can actually teach you as they serve you as they um you know offer their business to you that's that's real like you can't beat that that's just really the kick i be on when i go to like the music stores and stuff oh that ice cream coming hold up hold up hold up how you doing yeah thank you so much i appreciate you did it, it didn't take for me? Alright. Scrump Billy. Um chest, you hear me. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is so beautiful. No, like real talk, this is so beautiful. And I don't even really be eating the sweets like that, like, but this four plus four equals eight up. And that's exactly what it's about to get. Eight up. I'm waiting on him to bring my car back. I'm trying to wait till I get home to eat, but it's cold in my night. <laughs> oh, I this one. You want to make this? It is a really, it really be the simple thing, like, right? just enjoying it. Hold up. Thank you, I appreciate it. You too. Like, just enjoying this is literally giving me everything right now. So, yeah, I am excited to be able to finally head in the right direction when it comes down to um, expanding, like, my accessories for my guitar and going after things. Let me put my seatbelt on because that thing going to keep dinging. Hold up. So, yeah, it does feel cool to finally be able to start, you know, to be pushed in the right direction for what it is I've been trying to find. And I did say... This is going to be the season where God have me to open my mouth and say, I need help for real, for real. Like, in every area. Like, stop acting like you know what you're doing. Stop acting like you know what you're looking for. Stop acting like you know what the the solutions to the problems that you have. And you're going to have to open your mouth this season and say what it is that you need. What it is you need help with. And that's all it's been. Like, 
that's all it's been because had I not opened my mouth to say what I'm looking for, to say what I'm trying to accomplish, to say X, Y, and Z, what I needed for my guitar, I would have still been in a cycle of wasting money on on things that I think are solutions when they are far from the solution to the problem I am seeking to fix. So, but they was not lying when they say closed mouths really don't get fed. Closed mouths really do not get fed. And this is going to get them out. So, that's why I'm at. That's why I'm at. And, you know, that comes from being taught and told that, you know, be seen, not heard. You know, it, 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 that's how you break that. Open your mouth. Say you need help. Not even just between people, but even with God. God, I need help. I cannot break this thing out for me. I am not the solution to the problem that I am having. My thoughts are not the solution to the problem that I'm having. It ain't gonna work without you. And I'm slowly, and I and I'm and I'm you know I'm waking up to see that because everything I try, it fails. It fails. It fails. Something gotta give, and it can't be for me. You gotta open your mouth. You gotta open your mouth.